All right, uh, January 11th, Thursday, 2024. Um, this is a continuation video, but it can be applied to any electrical hydraulic pump motor. Uh, this was on the, uh, it was on a Beaver with an uh, SMC system, but it doesn't matter if it's HWH or Lippert or Power Gear. It's an electric motor with a hydraulic pump. And remember on the other videos that it got destroyed. The gears were just gone and metal was everywhere. So I flushed the lines out and all. Got a new electric motor. We got very lucky. There was five left, I think, in the country. Um, and we got a new hydraulic pump. Remember, I gave you that on my Facebook page, the place to get any. These people got like 30,000 hydraulic pumps. Not all the same either. We're talking, they build them. All right, so it's a direct link. And this will help some of your RV techs out there too. All right, trying to keep these old girls going. There's some classics out there. Well, here we go. One, that's the electric motor, okay. The hydraulic pump's down inside. You remember the big tank. So what I did, I hooked up some hydraulic lines, made some buckets, right, crude as it is. So just from experience, I know that this, this one, and this one are outputs. Yeah, so they're going to go into here. These are from uh, these two, one here, and this one are from the device like the legs that would the springs would push up on the legs or the slide that's coming in all right so we're gonna jump it just to prime it all right so this line let me put you on pause all right also you want to make sure you have the polarity right because then the pump will be spinning backwards i just happen to remember them but this is what i call one flushing it Especially after disassembly, I took it all apart. You remember that in my other videos. I think this is like video five or something. I hook it up to a battery pack, positive, negative. I even put an improved amperage contact uh, relay in there. All right. I know y'all going to call that a solenoid, but a relay takes small amount of amperage. That's why it's got the small terminals and controls a bigger amperage. There you go. All right. So here we go. We're going to turn it on this line and this line. Right here, we'll fill that bucket up. And we're just gonna prime it. Here it goes. Yeah, look at that bucket. Look at that drum uh, bucket filling up. Or, there you go. Hey, it's filling up. And we don't see nothing coming out of this one. Right, these two lines right here. This one and this one. So those are the returns. Cause there was three tubes in there. One big one would had the brass 500 mesh pickup on it. All right, or filter sock whatever you want to call it okay and the other there was two smaller ones so those what return the fluid all right so commonality electric motor right it spins you got to make sure it spins the right ways clockwise counterclockwise right here we go. It even says ccw counterclockwise um outside of that i'm going to run a little bit longer Put some fresh fluid in again, flush it out real good, and then I'm going to bring his beaver in, and I'm going to mount it up there. And uh, He said before this happened that the two rear leveling legs, these don't go all the way down to the ground, SMC or IELD or IDL. I get them that one backwards, IDL or IELD. They don't go to the ground. They go from the frame down to the chassis member, all right? I like it, but then again, you know, everything's different, but they're common commonality. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Thank you for watching.